What are some ways in which the devil can work on us to prevent us from growing in holiness? Apply to the second rule of discernment. Well, the devil can harass us in many ways. In the life of St. Ignatius Loyola, we have a classical temptation that was launched against St. Ignatius and often against us. After St. Ignatius had made his general confession in Montserrat, he traveled to the cave of Manresa. And while he was in Manresa, he was praying, he was fasting, he was spending long hours in meditation, and he was uh, really growing in his spiritual life. But the devil tempted him, and he harassed him, and tried to take away his peace. And one of the ways in which he did this was, he tried to convince St. Ignatius that the confession that he had done, and Ignatius had done a general confession, was not well done. That he did not really confess those sins the way they should have been confessed. And he was harassed with this thought. Another temptation Ignatius had was the following. Right now you are going through a process of conversion and you're practicing a lot of penance, a lot of mortification, which is difficult. And the devil is trying to convince him, you're not going to be able to last. Life is long and you cannot persevere in this long life pursuit of penance and mortification. And the devil even tempted St. Denise Loyola to, to, to suicide. These were all temptations that were launched against the great St. Denise Loyola. His saving grace was that he opened up to a spiritual director and just revealed his conscience. And after he had fasted for a whole week, he told the spiritual director that this temptation was still harassing him his director said, no more fasting. And Ignatius in that moment obeyed his spiritual director. In that moment, the temptation disappeared. Very interesting. Opening up to one's spiritual director in moments of desolation. And also, the importance of the virtue of obedience. St. Ignatius of Loyola insists very much in spiritual direction, in the religious life, that this virtue is very important. That as Jesus obeyed God the Father, He was obedient even up to death, death on the cross, we should learn the great lessons, lesson of obedience. So this is the second rule in which the enemy tries to attack us by false reasoning. He tries to harass us with thoughts so that we give up our struggle for holiness. So let's pray for the grace that when we are being harassed by the enemy, that we would open up our hearts to a spiritual director and that we would be constant and faithful in our walk with the Lord.